So the Xbox Series X and while the PlayStation 5 are not long away at all, to many people it's kind of a big deal how such will perform, especially when current gen games are loaded up within these new next gen consoles. What will the differences be like? Well today guys we check out a side by side comparison of the Xbox Series X versus the Xbox One X and while the guinea pig is nothing other than Destiny 2. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So firstly many thanks to Tom Warren and The Verge for allowing me to use this footage of Destiny 2 running on the Xbox Series X. Links to Tom's Twitter and Twitch and YouTube channel as well as The Verge can be found below. So Destiny 2 isn't one on console at least to load up quick. And so it's interesting to see how this performs on that next gen console being the Xbox Series X. Now the footage I was given showcases Destiny 2's a load up from the dashboard on the Series X. And while although at first it doesn't seem that quick, when you put it side by side with the Xbox One X, it gets interesting. Now let it be known, the Xbox One X footage I recorded via Destiny 2 it is stored to my Samsung T7 3.2 1TB external SSD, one of if not the best you can get for speed and loading times for the Xbox One X, which I will add to a point of if I'm playing with friends who have Destiny 2 stored to the internal standard hard drive of the Xbox One X. I'm loaded into places like the tower strikes sometimes 10, 15 or 20 seconds quicker. That's how good my external SSD is that I'm using on my One X. Now it's probably important to know also that no patches have been put out on Bungie's behalf for D2 which will enhance performance on next gen consoles as of yet. What you are seeing here on the Xbox Series X is straight up backwards compatibility gameplay performance. And while looking at them side by side on screen now, the difference is truly staggering. Now like I said, after watching the initial load up time on the Xbox Series X, I wasn't that impressed, but when they are side by side, how much quicker it is is unreal. To a point of on the Series X, he lands within the tower, runs around a bit, checks his postmaster, goes into his inventory, and then almost makes it to Titan before I even get to the tower. So yeah. Compared to current gen, the load times are utterly crazy. And while it reflects within the inventory visits and other instances too. And I mean within Destiny 2 on the Xbox One X, trying to switch out gear in the middle of a raid, a PvP match or even a strike can sometimes feel like a lifetime. On next gen that's taken away, you are in and out in seconds which is remarkable and well it's something you can only see right now on decent PCs. What else is noticeable when we see gameplay is the fact of how much smoother it feels and looks. Again, this is still 30 frames per second. No patch has been added to improve that frames per second. But even still, on the Xbox One X, which is the most powerful current gen console, you still, within many instances, see those frames dropping below 30. But it's said, no matter the pressure you are putting on the software within the Series X, those frame drops will not happening in the slightest. Now when Beyond Light drops and we go on next gen with Destiny 2, it's said the Xbox One X can easily handle 4K with 60 frames per second. This is going to be really interesting people. I mean hearing about said performance of next gen is one thing, but when you actually see and experience it, it's definitely another thing. It's actually a game changer and I feel how next gen will handle Destiny 2 will make the game a ton more enjoyable. But yeah guys, just a quick video demonstration of the power of the Xbox Series X in comparison to the Xbox One X. The difference between loading times with Destiny 2 is truly staggering, but tell me your thoughts down below. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like truly helps out. And remember subscribe and turn notifications on if you liked what you see and want to see more. But again, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.